The content on this channel has been created for adults. If you're not at least 13 years of age or older, then please do not watch this content. Sorry, dude. Come back when you're 13. Always a pleasure to be rock and roll, fucking beautiful people around the globe. You guys, oh my gosh, it feels so good to be feeling like myself again. Feeling like there's not that much pain, you know, all over the joint. You know what I mean? When you go, ah, ah, y'all know it feels good to just be able to move freely and do things, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're back with another awesome episode. You already know how we do. We keep it 100 every single day. The grind does not stop. If you're new here, consider subscribing and joining the family. We'd love to have you as part of the best family on the tube. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and dive in. We got a reaction request here from Almighty Alma. Another one for Almighty Alma. Almighty Alma wants to hear... Metallica medley mashup by Sertian and Zariskuya. We did this one, um, like a few of their uh, songs. If you all remember Sertian and uh, Zariskuya, they did some dope freaking covers. Um, I think it was Metallica one, the last one we did, or um, someone like that. But yo, check out my previous videos if you want to check it out. It is there. It is good. These guys are the real deal. So without further ado, for me, for Almighty Alma, for all of you, what do you say we go ahead and dive in? and see what this medley mashup is all about. All right, all right, let's get it. Rolling. Man, I gotta say, man, and I've said this last time, I've said this multiple times, but look, seriously, they need to start their own band. She needs to freaking have her own freaking band that's out there freaking doing what they do, dude, seriously. Now, I can't remember if y'all said, because I think in the comments someone said the similar things, and then someone else, I think, said, oh, she she's in a band or was in a band, or I don't know. All I know is that she needs to be in a band. If she's not, she is, she isn't, she isn't. She needs to get in a band and do her thing, man. Do, I would love to see a bunch of her own originals and just see what she comes up with. You know, like, dude, she's such a talent, man. She's got the voice. She's got the look. She's got everything. <sighs> I understand. Dude, um, like, I guess that, uh, I don't know who's uh, freaking, I forgot his name. I don't think I... I don't know. <laughs> All I know is that he's good. 
they freaking kill it, they should have a band. That's all I'm saying. They would be freaking dope. Uh, let's keep going. Listen to that. Dude, seriously, what? This is dope, man. This is a mashup, literally, of a bunch of dope songs, man. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And she's just killing it. I mean, I already knew what to expect, but I'm still, like, impressed. You know what I mean? Because she's that freaking dope. You know, it's really painful to do that, too. I, it's funny, because you guys probably don't know, a lot of you don't know this, because I don't even think I've mentioned it, maybe once or twice I've mentioned it, but even though R&B and hip-hop's my main thing, obviously, you know, singing and rapping, doing all that, did you guys know that one stage I was in a rock band myself? And I was, yeah, I was the freaking front, you know, person in the rock band doing my thing. I was the lead. I was freaking, you know what I mean? And I was, you know, get like crazy with it, you know what I mean? But the thing is, whenever I try to do like the really like raspy, you know, that kind of voice, it's really hard. It's, it's, it's like for me, I mean, I guess if you do it all the time and you practice it regularly, you get used to it and, you know, but for me, like, oh, I remember it's trying to eh, like kind of do that kind of thing. Like it's, I don't like the feeling. It just feels, you know what I mean? And after a while, like, you know, and because my voice, you all hear me like, you know, I got more, I'm, I'm more of a, like, I don't know, I would say gentle. I like, I like my voice. I like, I don't, I, I, I prefer being just nice and just, you know, kind of just flowing with my voice in, a, in the most natural, organic way possible and not trying to overly, like, you know, put anything on it. Do you know what I mean? I just like that 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 natural thing you know what i'm saying like so yeah doing the raspy thing is painful for me like it's not easy it's not easy to do for, i think it's not easy you got to literally do it all the time which it could probably permanently alter your voice even but that was the hardest part for me when i was doing the rock band stuff like was just trying to have that really rock sounding you know that voice like Y'all know what I mean, right? Like, I mean, you know, the more raspy voice. Like, because I was doing, like, some hard stuff, you know what I mean? Where, you know, you had to kind of have that voice a few times. Do some of the screams and, you know. But, yeah, a little thing you didn't know. Our group was called Anything Goes as well, by the way, in case you cared. Probably won't find anything out there on it. I don't, matter of fact. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't know if... You, I don't know if we ever um, really actually released anything. Um, I think we did, like, we did a bunch of live, because it was like a side gig. 
side project what am i freaking talking about why are we talking about this you guys don't care i get it we'll just get back into this we'll save for another day i'll do a video talking about all that stuff all right i just just calm down <laughs> it was a project actually we might have released one song now that i think about it we did imagine we did a remake of i forget it whatever Oh my gosh, seriously, dude, like, you know, ah, what, what is, what is, seriously, what is the story here, dude? I just can't, I just can't get over how absolutely talented she is. She is the real deal times 10. Dude, she's oozing with potential, like, oh my gosh, like, she is absolutely so talented. Like, I really like her. I really, really like her, you know. It's, it's a testament to her, though, like, I want to put out there, like, as an artist myself, someone who's been signed to major record label and things like that, like at the end of the day, it takes so much to get to that place. You know what I mean? Like you got to grind hard. You got to put in so much work and effort on the daily. Like it is obvious to me that she's been doing that. You know what I mean? She's been doing that. She's. This is an artist that deserves to be freaking signed and loved and and uh nurtured you know what i mean like really just cultivate and and allow her to grow and spread her wings and really just do some great things in her own original like band like her own setup even as a solo artist i mean you know she could do the solo thing man but ah oh, man nah i think she's just got something special dude like let me know what you guys think in the comments let me know are you guys feeling what she's throwing down man seriously Here we go. This is my favorite. Woo. Hey. Dude, I'd sign her to my label right now. Like, I'm signing them all. Their whole group, their whole situation here. Everybody, even the people, I don't even know their name. Just whoever is here right now doing this performance together, you're all signed. You all come to my label right now. Call me. Seriously. I'm being serious. I'll sign you. Dude, you guys are so awesome. This is so good. Let's go. Hot green, I'm fed up in a green, splash in the silence. 
<laughs> that ending's crazy because you see her like suddenly just like all scary monster person like freaking I was like oh okay please don't hurt me and then suddenly she's all cute like <laughs> this is tasty candy it's so sweet I don't know what she said by the way I'm just <laughs> but look let's talk about this song let's talk about this this mashup of 10 songs let's talk about how each and every single one of them was flawlessly executed in the most perfect way let's talk about how absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant i mean really sing like there's people who are good at stuff there's people who are okay there's people who are great but very rarely do you hear people who are super duper megaly awesome? Like, oh my gosh. This is like probably, what, maybe the best cover band out there? Would you say that? No, I guess that's a hard one. Yeah, that's a hard call. I'm sure there's tons of really good people, but seriously, She's really good. I'm not going to try to even make that claim. I'm not going to compare them with anyone else because obviously there's tons of talent out there. I'm sure there's tons of good cover bands I've never even heard of. But I got to I got to say, man, like this is incredible stuff here. Like every time I hear her, I'm just blown away, man. I wonder we got to really check out more of their stuff because I just need more information for starters. Like I really know I I really need to know why they're not Banding it up. So here we go. Here we go. So her name is Daria. So she's Zariskaya. Okay. For you guys that don't know. Because I wonder too. It gets confusing. You don't know who's who. What's that. She's Daria Zaritskaya. Okay. On the guitars is Sergi Sertian. So the main guitar dude. Who's freaking just ripping it. And killing it. Is Sergi Sertian. And then the bass dude is Alex Stumak. Shmu- and then on the drums, you got Dimitri Kim. But man, that dude on the drums is dope as well. Like, all of them are dope, dude. Like, why don't they start their own group? That is the question we all want to know. I, I, I don't understand it. These guys could be big. These guys would be big. I'm not saying they're not big already. Of course, you know, they've got their following. They're smashing it out. But I mean, wow. You know? I like some of these comments here. This is, you know, a really good one. Finally, a female who can really rock Metallica songs with the gift, with the grit they call for. That's the word, grit. When you're singing, and you gotta have that kind of grit in your voice, like <laughs> freaking. First, it tickles, <laughs> then it becomes uncomfortable, <laughs> then it becomes annoying and painful for me, because I I don't really like doing that to my voice. But if you know, if you, I guess it's one of those things. If you're doing it over and over again and repeatedly, you, your voice gets used to it. I guess you get used to it. I guess it's a, you know, and it's a dope sound. Like those who can pull it off, it's dope. Like you know what I mean. Like if you can pull off that raspy, just like it's dope. It sounds cool. But um, yeah, for me, I rather just keep it on the. You know, I'm more of the smooth. You know, let's keep it sexy, player. <laughs> Yeah. Huh. <laughs> um, someone else wrote here that was absolutely incredible. She hit those high notes perfectly with her own spin on it to complement the song she was singing. Never have I heard a female voice of such power rock. This type of metal can't give enough praise. Yep. I absolutely agree with that comment there. That is a very, 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 very good comment. And I was saying, man, like, you know, it's again, it's one of those things where you can't 
fake this stuff. You know, obviously she's put in the hard work. She's put in the wrench time it took to develop that voice and that ability. And she's more than just a good voice. You see, you know, she's got the charisma. It comes across really well. She's got the attitude, especially needed for this type of music. You got to be able to be able to, to come with that aggressiveness, that kind of high, you know, energy. You know, you got to be engaging and be able to, to really sell the show in a major way because this is these are songs from icons you're, you're trying to cover some of the greatest songs that's ever come out of of metal out of rock you you gotta freaking bring it you can't half it ass it you gotta freaking bring it in each and every way so the fact that she's captured that and been able to to mold that into your own you know make it her own do her thing and freaking come correct and step up to the plate like that and absolutely just every single time we've heard her i've said the same thing you guys every single time i've heard nothing but just a hundred percent just overwhelming sensations flowing through my whole body when i hear these guys like they complement each other really well that's what i'm saying they need to start a band they really need to do it but anyways, thank you Almighty Alma for gracing us with another one of their freaking awesome, awesome freaking songs. Absolutely loved it. Really super good. I should say no one their performances. So there was multiple songs rolled up into that freaking nice little mashup there. Super cool mashup, by the way. Definitely going on the playlist, guys. As always, remember to go to the full list. Keep it off tap. I will catch you on the next one. We out.